Super Bowls than this one right here. The Caesar Superdome in the Crescent City of New Orleans. This is Super Bowl 59, and we've got an outstanding matchup on tap. The moment is upon us, and we've got what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champion Tennessee Titans taking on another team from the AFC, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So the new look Steelers offense headed out for their first drive, led by a man in his 13th NFL season now. First is a Steeler, Russell Wilson. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's at dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played, and his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. So here are the Titans ready to go on offense for the first time, and it's Will Levis, the 25-year-old at quarterback in his second season out of Kentucky. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon, but they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. In motion goes the tight end. And the ball's loose. Levis has it knocked free. And this will be scooped up in the end zone. The defender gets there, and it's a touchdown. And I'm sure for these guys, the break from the conference championship to the Super Bowl seems so long to get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And he'll put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. 
So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Titans now just about ready to take over. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Working from the gun, here's Levis. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Larry Ogunjobi in for the sack. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Here's Austin. Fights off the defender, and there he goes again. Found good room to run there, returns at 14 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. A handoff to Harris to begin the drive. He leaps over him. Now inside the 25. Najee Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris, 59 yards. And the Steelers will add to their first quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. Early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you give the defensive touchdown early to give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, we've had that conversation with them prior to the game. They always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Now Levis. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Levis back to throw. Throw to the right, caught by Akakwo. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at him, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. He gets this one to Boyd. Only able to gain a couple there. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Levis to throw it. Under pressure and down he goes. Terrell Edmonds comes flying in from safety for the sack. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. That puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. 
to be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what, when he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do, and you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Again, it's Harris on second down. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 95 yards rushing for him now in the opening quarter of the Super Bowl. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating him up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. They also like with the... And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Van Jefferson, 29 yards. And the Steelers are feeling good as they extend their lead in this Super Bowl. Boy, still in the first quarter, and look out. I mean, they are on pace for over 80 points in this game. I don't know that they'll get there, CD, but this has been impressive to watch so far. That certainly would be history in the making, wouldn't it, partner? I'm glad we're here to actually watch and see if it actually happens, although, like you, I have my doubts, but they are firmly in control of this game. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Titans getting set and ready to go here for their next drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, it's Levis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. The end result, 21 yards. Throw right side, caught by Ridley. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up second down. Levis sets up to throw here. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Mika Fitzpatrick. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. Extra point put through by Boswell. And the route is on here in this first half. We are just getting started here at Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. One quarter in the books. 28 to nothing is our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Out come the Titans now. 
And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Levis out of the shotgun now. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Evident there that he worked. drive no way he was going to force a throw that time when nothing broke open kept it and ended up running for a first down himself Levis now off of play action escaping the pressure right and he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage nice work to get seven out of that and it's second down Levis. And he will find Ridley. That's complete. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 23. Levis looking to throw. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Here's Levis. A short throw taken in by a Conquero. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Dancing to it. Well, the ball's loose. Levis has it knocked free. And it's picked up by the Steelers. There he goes, right side. And he takes it back to the house. A fumble recovery for a Steelers score. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Boswell good with the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll drop the throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. The offense on third down tonight, 0 for 3 to this point. They can use a conversion. This is third and 11. Looking to throw. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. The offense coming back out. And there's Van Jefferson leading him. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, 
he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise, he can really decimate them. They better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. First down, and they go back to Harris. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. And this defense not giving them anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Now a first down carry for Harris. Broken tackle. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Here's Wilson. Middle of the field to Jefferson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. To throw is Wilson. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now a second and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Wilson will throw again. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Steelers continue to look good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. That figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point put through by Boswell, and it is 42 to nothing. A 10-play drive that time, and it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Tennessee offense set to go again. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. A short throw taken in by Conquo. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. And the tight end goes in motion left. Levis out of the gun on third down. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker, fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So it's halftime here on Sports Grandness Stage in the Super Bowl. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. In the first half, we saw a strong performance out of the veteran quarterback, Russell Wilson. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of play. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for...